when quality care is critical. Mrs. Jones is a patient in the ICU. How do you know this hospital will provide her safe care? Critical care is a growing part of our health care system in the U.S. and utilizes much of our health care resources. There are more than 4 million patients admitted to the ICUs each year, with a mortality rate averaging 10 to 20 percent. Approximately 500,000 deaths will occur each year in the ICUs, with costs exceeding $70 billion a year, and this cost is growing every year. Why should we care about quality in the ICUs? You may not realize there are differences in the quality of care provided by different hospitals. Healthcare quality and safety cannot be assumed. There are between 44,000 and 98,000 deaths occur each year from medical errors during hospitalizations alone. 30% of what we spend on healthcare is wasted on poor quality, misuse, underuse, overuse, and medical error. According to Midwest Business Group on Health 2003, Poor quality care costs an employer between $1,900 and $2,200 per covered employee per year. These increased costs to us as healthcare consumers can be reduced by improving the quality of health care in the intensive care units. Today, you can probably get more information about choosing a television show than choosing your doctor or hospital. LeapFrog is changing this. LeapFrog was formed by a number of large employers and public purchasers in 2000. By engaging consumers and clinicians and consolidating the purchasing voice of more than 500 Fortune 500 companies, their goal is to promote improvements in health care by incorporating both quality and costs. The mission of LeapFrog is to trigger giant leaps forward in the safety, quality, and affordability of health care by supporting informed health care decisions by those of us who use and pay for health care and by promoting high value health care through incentives and rewards. One of the recommendations of the LeapFrog Group is providing 24 hours a day coverage to ICU patients. Quality of care is influenced by the ICU staffing. This care can be provided either by specialty trained physicians in the ICU 24 hours a day or by physicians working in collaboration with certified physician extenders such as an acute care nurse practitioner. If these guidelines are followed, over 54,000 deaths could be avoided each year. Only 35% of the hospitals nationwide are in compliance with the staffing recommendations of the LeapFrog Group. There is a growing body of scientific evidence suggesting that quality of care in hospital ICUs is strongly influenced by staffing. So with this data, why are there only 35% of the hospitals following LeapFrog's recommendations? We simply do not have the physicians to care for these sick patients. Physician manpower is decreased due to both the limited number of board certified intensive care doctors as well as restrictions on the hours they can work. The supply and demand projections estimate this shortfall would be 22% of the demand by the year of 2020 and 35% of the demand by the year of 2030. Integrating acute care nurse practitioners into the critical care teams of ICUs could help meet this gap in coverage. There are currently over 5,000 nurse practitioners certified as acute care nurse practitioners with specialty training focusing on providing care to acute and critically ill patients. Studies have shown comparable outcomes from care provided by acute care nurse practitioners and care provided by residents or physicians in training or physician groups. The role of an acute care nurse practitioner in an ICU setting includes patient assessment, history and physical examinations, diagnosing and treating illnesses, prescribing and performing diagnostic, pharmacological, and therapeutic interventions, rounding with a multidisciplinary team, research, and teaching. They also perform invasive procedures such as a spinal tap and managing patients on mechanical ventilation. Hi, my name is Bob Blessing. I'm an acute care nurse practitioner in the intensive care unit at Duke. By utilizing acute care nurse practitioners in a collaborative practice model, we can meet the criteria set forth 
by the LeapFrog Foundation. We do have a choice in health care. Which choice will you make? If Mrs. Jones had an emergency in the intensive care unit, would she choose this ICU or an ICU with a collaborative team providing 24-hour care? For more information on how you and your family can get safer care and compare the safety ratings for hospitals, go to www.leapfroggroup.org. Thank you.